right. So next up, uh, we, we have a, a guest speaker here. Actually, she's really at home because she's one of the co-founders of COSI OLC. Uh, Veronique uh, can claim to have been to the bottom of the ocean many, many times, and she has the artistic ability to prove it to you. And she's here tonight to help us with using the other half of our brain. If only I had one. Oh. Anyway, come on. <laughs> there we go. Actually, I don't need anything. You don't need that? You no, I don't need anything. Thank you. Well, thank you. This is uh, this is fun for me to be actually in front of this uh, community and back with colleagues, but today as an artist. And uh, I can since I got ten minutes, I consider myself as your break. And uh, what I want to do is. You've been using the left side of your brain with all of these talks in 25 minutes. You've seen molecules, you've seen, you've heard about 42 different polytons, you've seen equations, you've seen graphs, you've seen beautiful pictures, you've heard people try to talk really, really, really fast so that they could get their points across. And so I want to give you just a little bit of time to breathe before we jump into the next five talks so you can learn more about the area and the marine environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to use our the right side of our brain and uh, which is the side which would is I'm going to encourage you to use your imagination I'm going to encourage you to use your body I'm going to encourage you to have fun so I would like to start with everybody standing up and uh, pick up your little half sheet of paper and a pencil or pen or whatever you have and, uh, and then start by just moving. So shake a little bit, stretch, move your arms, wave your feet, move your legs. Everybody's ready to relax. All right, good. And then while you're doing this, you can continue to move around. I want you to look around, um, look around you and the beautiful surrounding that you're in at the Seattle Aquarium uh, and pick out some shapes that you can recognize and I would like you to put on your piece of paper two or three or four blobs and by blob I mean just an irregular shape that you can pick out from your environment. It could be the shape of the lampshade that's above you there. It could be maybe the shape of the sea urchin that you see on some of the slides. It could be one of the fish. Or it can be the pattern of you know, something on the coat of your neighbor. So very quickly, on a piece of paper, three or four blobs. All right, so you have a few blobs, and I'm going to encourage you to not feel self-conscious about this. This is fluid, free-flowing. We don't need to have any um, ultra-precise details. Nothing has to be accurate. It's just for fun, just to relax a little bit. And then the second step is I'm going to um, ask you to pick one of your blobs and just because for some reason one of them is more attractive to you than the others. And try to put some details on that blobs. Details, and you can get inspiration from, uh, maybe from the, um, the wall of uh, water, the tank, the Puget Sound, maybe some of the fish, maybe some of the features inside the tank. And add some details so that it starts looking like something that you recognize. It doesn't have to be very precise, but it has to look like um, some imaginative creatures or feature or object. And I'm going to give you five minutes. You can walk around. You can go a little bit closer to the tank if you want to pick, um, get some details from the fish, or just walk around, get some inspiration around you, and then draw and come up with some kind of um, imaginary creature or object. And I'm going to do the same.
that my cue? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, go on, you have a few more minutes. What is my cue? <laughs> um, well, Ooh, wow! <laughs> at a, at, well, these are a variety of shapes. At a, at a minute left, we'll okay. give you the, the, the big orange sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're concentrating. <laughs> You're concentrating. <laughs> your imagination going? Uh, where it often Ooh. does when I think about the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes will give you a two minute warning, which is about now. Okay. Two minutes. Okay. Okay, you have a couple more minutes. because I can wander around. <laughs> cool. So that was all It's probably good. Okay. All right. So now that you've done your imaginary creature or object, I would like you to just take half a minute to just share it with some of your neighbors. And then just like um, the other speakers, I'll be in the back at a table. And I would like you to bring, if you want to share uh, some of your drawings, I'd like to see them and we can talk about it. And if you want to learn a little bit more about making observations a little bit more precise and some of the techniques, then we can talk about that too. Maybe with a glass of wine and just continue. Thank you. Thank you, Veronique. And now that you're the right side of your brain is feeling well exercised, everybody getting that? Oh no, that's this side. That was back to the half a brain. Do I have half a brain? Um.